Psalms 23, um, it's a really short psalm and it's easy to memorize it. And I've known it for my whole life. And I'll read it for you now. It says, Because the Lord is my shepherd, I am not in need. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. And some of them say, for his name's sake. He guides me in paths of righteousness. And even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. And my cup overflows. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Um, surely goodness and love will follow me all of the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. When I took a pastoring job, um, the portion that I thought would apply to you is that um, the portion where it says, God is my shepherd. He makes me lie down by green pastures. It's very peaceful. But the point of the psalm is that God shepherds us. He takes care of us. He gives us what we need. So it's, there's a very interesting phrase that says, He leads me beside still waters. And what I've learned over the years is that that can apply to a people-to-people -people thing. If somebody, um, in general, we should be, around people who are emotionally calm and steady and still and there shouldn't be a lot of fighting between people if there is that means something wrong um, and so my personal example is that i took a job at a church and there was contention with the pastor towards me he was not emotionally still he was he was uh struggling with anger and so some of that anger came my way and i prayed about it and i stepped down about the church because God did not lead me. Uh, it was unstill emotional waters, so to speak. And um, for that reason, um, I think ever since I have applied this Bible verse, that if I'm dealing with somebody and they're not emotionally stable and steady, you can, you can be around them for a little bit, but then eventually you have to back off. Um, or eventually they have to calm down and things in general should be calm and steady and still. And that's how we know that God leads us into a situation. Um, there's rare circumstances where uh, things like combat, um, being a soldier and going into conflict zones, and you do it with a whole bunch of caution and you're ready and you do it for a short time and then you back out. Because you're not made, in general, we're not made to be around emotional t tumult. Um, uh, and so um, I wanted to give you some relationship advice there. That if you get close to somebody and they fight with you um, and they get emotionally unstable and steady. And I was just uh, in a relationship where um, when I got closer to the person, she's a wonderful person. But every time I got close to a certain point. Um, the person became emotionally, uh, um, things were not calm for that person emotionally. So I had to back off. And uh, that's something that I have used ever since. And uh, everybody, I think, could use that in general. So that was what I would share with you. If you're finding yourself around somebody and they're not emotionally stable and steady, what you do is you back off in emotional closeness so that you can be calm and stable and steady. And that will give the person the freedom. And then you watch and you wait and you see what decisions the person makes later on down the road. And a lot of times what you'll find is that um, God saved you from going along with somebody who's uh, potentially going to bring you into a, a worse situation in life. Doesn't always happen. Sometimes the person calms down and things are good. And it was just a weird thing that they were trying to get over. Sometimes not.